Good morning, guys. I thought we would start this video off with a cup of coffee together. Loving my happy Easter, y'all. It's the perfect size for 800 coffee pods. I am loving this Graham Starbucks pod. And I got a Bunny Buns seller from a viewer that sent to me. Thank you so much. They were as sad as I was that I broke my previous one. Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's video. Look what I have. I didn't find this in person. My friend got this for me. And I am so, so, so happy that I have this. The Slanted Ruth Gingham. Is that how you say it? Um plaid <laughs> blue plaid birdhouse guys this is beautiful this is so so pretty this is a gorgeousness oh my gosh i'm so excited to have this um in my collection um they found it at home goods 19.99 i think you guys know the prices of birdhouses by now but it says perch on the side I like that there's not words on the front. I like that it's just little on the side. And um, my friend gave me um, a polka dotted bow for the top of it, but I can't find it. I run around so much. I've got to find it um, to put on here. It comes with this brown bow, this like burlap bow, which I think is really cute. But I'm so excited to decorate with this. I've shown this lemonade pitcher before and I actually gave one away in my last video. Um, but this is Marshall's $14.99, but I'm showing it because um, on Amazon, I found these cute straws to go with it. Let's see if we can see the pattern. Kind of hard to see, but they're like le little lemon, lemon straws. I'll link these down below. And I also got this pack for summer, which has watermelons and um, pineapple, strawberries, and lemons. So you can um, you can get like just lemons, or you can also get a pack that's multiple, so you're not stuck with all these <laughs> lemon straws. But I'm going to share with friends. Um, but I thought that was super cute to decorate with for spring and then on Amazon I also found these really cute lemon um, salt and pepper shakers I like how they set up like how cute are those and super inexpensive I'll link those down below okay next up I have I, I can't remember if I've shown this in this video but I got a flower crown for my friend I'll link her Macari page down below she's gonna get some of those up and then I put the little bow tie on my bunny and then guys I got the pink measuring cups I didn't get them a friend got them for me but these are home goods and they're $16.99 and then back there's my little she shed I got off of TJ Maxx I'm absolutely in love with these pink measuring cups. They're so pretty in person. I'm going to use these all year round. Okay, I also hit Starbucks and got the little bunny cup with the pretty blue lid. And this was $12.99. And then I got the little travel cups, um, reusable ones. And this was $11.99. I thought I would show out of the package what they look like. They are so adorable. We got a chicken. I think that's a little chicken. They're just, I love these little cups. Oh, this one's really, really cute. If you guys saw my last video, I got this wild birdhouse with a little feather on the back. So I'm going to put that back there in my gingham house back there in the background. I'm in love with these birdhouses. They're so, so, so cute. When I did my Hobby Lobby haul that I placed on order, I forgot to show this little guy on this pick. He is just so cute. He was $4.99, and I believe I got him for 40% off. So I just wanted to show that. Okay, next thing I'm going to, the next few things I'm going to show are not Ray Dunn, but they're related to Ray Dunn, like you can style it with Ray Dunn. If you're new to my channel, I do a mix of Ray Dunn and home decor. I throw in recipes here and there, you know, like, um... I went to the bookstore. I got some cookbooks today and some magazines for home decor. So this next part, you can fast forward if, if you want. It's it's not Ray Dunn. 
Um, but it's things I think you guys would like. I went to Michael's. We got a Michael's in our area while well, it's an hour from my house. And I'd never been in Michael's before. And I went in there for pipe cleaners and I spent $100. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got in there. I just noticed I have this cake stand and I think that looks so cute with the ribbon on my birdhouse. Okay, so these next things, everything I got today was 40% off at Michael's. So I've been looking for a wipeable tablecloth and I thought this was really pretty. If you can see the stripes down in it and it's flannel backed and it was um, $7.99 with 40% off. So I got this one that has like the striped, almost like an ombre look. And then this one, it's almost kind of like it's a real pale pink. I thought that, so I needed one for my kitchen and one for my dining room. And then I saw these little picks. I think they're so cute. Um, little bunnies. And these were um, $5.99 with 40% off. I picked, two, picked up two of them. I think they'd be great to put in a vase with some flowers. I don't know. You could do all kinds of things with them. You could cut off the little sticks for a tiered tray. Super cute. Okay, here's my lemonade pitcher. I know I keep showing it, but I'm excited for it. I have my little lemon tree in that. And then I picked up this cute little, it's a birdhouse. This isn't Ray Dunn. Um, it says fresh squeed lemonade. Look at the details on this, how cute it is. I just thought it was so cute for summertime. Oh my gosh, look at the side little you guys can't see it the little drinks okay so this was um 19.99 with 40 percent off how adorable is that okay next up see how my friend made me these i picked up these little flowers thinking that these might be good for one of those although they look like they're way too big, but they weren't very much. I mean, I think they were a dollar. They were in like this value bin. Of course, they don't have a price on them. But um, so I got white ones and blue ones. These are, these colors are a little bit different and pink. So I got four of these. I just picked those up. You're in my pink craft room. One of these days, I'll give a tour of this room. Um, right now it's kind of a mess, but this is one of my favorite rooms in my house. Well, besides my Ray Dunn room and that I have shelves in there for storage and then my coffee bar that's downstairs in my basement, um, in my workspace. And then I found these really cute, they're like Sherpa little ears on picks. They were $4.99 with, um, 40% off. I thought I could do something cute with these. Okay, I showed this bloom vase in a previous video. This is Ray Dunn, and I'm gonna, I haven't gotten to it yet, but I'm making like an egg tree for it, and I wanted to put some kind of tool underneath of it to kind of cover the opening, and I picked up these little um, tool basket skirts, pink and white, and um, I'm not exactly sure how to do it. I just kind of go with it. Obviously not like that, but kind of foof it up and put that around there. I think it'd look really cute. I'm going to add a lot more eggs and stuff to the top of this, but those were, um, these little skirts were, and I think they're made to go, their intention is to go around the Easter basket. These were $3.99 and they were 40% off. And the reason I went in was to get pipe cleaners. Well, those are straws. And I found pipe cleaners. I'm going to use pipe cleaners um, to attach my bows that I make um, to my canisters and my birdhouses. Thank you so much in the comments um, for recommending that. Here's the tip from Joan Sheely um, to use a pipe cleaner to put the bow onto the back of um, the canister less waste of ribbon and bulkiness. Thank you so much. It was a great idea. And I remembered that some of the bows that I bought um, already had those on there and it really does make a difference with attaching them. So thank you, Joan. Okay, so the price on these, these were only a dollar, I think. Um, so I got all different colors. I wanted a little pack like this of just white, but of course they don't come that way. They get you with all these colors. Um, so I got those so I will have them when I need them. And then I picked up these. They were $5.99 each 
And I don't think these were on sale, but I used a coupon. I, I said on Instagram that I was going into Michael's for the first time and someone recommended using a coupon. So I did get to use a coupon. I think I only got $2 off of an item, but still it saved me $2. And these are the reusable straws. I really, really like using these. Um, I know plastic isn't the best thing to use, but I still like using them. I wanted to show you guys this basket I have. I showed a smaller one for ribbon, but I have like what I call project baskets. So I kind of keep everything in here so when I'm ready to work on it, I have it all together. It helps keep me organized. Okay, and then I found ribbon that was absolutely amazing and it was all 40% off. And it's all my friend that's teaching me how to make bows. You know who you are. She said to make sure that I get wire rimmed um, ribbon so it makes the ribbons easier and then I, now I have pipe cleaners to attach them to the back so I kind of grouped them by colors here and okay so prices this little bunny print oh, okay my camera's not okay so this one was $3.99 this little buffalo check with the hang on let me turn off my light I'm not sure if that's better or if it's too dark. Okay, the plastic's getting in a glare, so I'm going to try and pull it out so you can see the... So it's like buffalo check with like this lace detail inside. I mean, I thought, how pretty would that be for a bow? I absolutely love it. Okay, and then this one with the bunnies. This one was $3.99. And then we have... This little polka dotted bunny. And then this was just like this date lace detail. And I just love this color. This one was... Okay, guys, I'm not sure how much that one is. I couldn't find a price on it anywhere. And then I really liked this. This polka dot with the burlap in the center. Like... I mean, seriously, this would make a beautiful bow. Like, look at that. Look how pretty that is. And this one was um, $3.99. Okay, and then we have this one with all the, the burlap with the bunnies with the different colored tails. That's $3.99. I'm pulling it out of the plastic so you can see it. We have that. And then we have more burlap with the white lace. And then I got this... Um, like Easter plaid. Here it is. You can see it. And then I got this really pretty, shiny, almost sheer. And then the same with this purple. I like this purple because it's sheer and then it's edged. I thought that was a little bit unique. And then we have this one, which is a little bit more narrow. Okay, so I have it all tucked away in there in my little project basket, and I'm going to put my little tool skirts on top. So now it's all packed away nice and neat. They also had these little bags of the paper Easter grass, and I grabbed those in pink and white. And I want to say they were a dollar with 50% off, but they're just little mini bags. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you these again. Um, I showed these a while back. I got these. I'm about to hit 3,200 subscribers. I'm 30 subscribers away. So you guys, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, you should tell other people to share my videos. And I wanted to show you that I found these. I don't know. You guys might think they look funny. I don't know. But I was trying to find other lids to fit these. And I found these little purple ones off of some candles at Marshall's. So I just thought I would show you that. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I did get a second set for you guys. I got these on eBay. They're not out in circulation anymore in case you guys aren't familiar with it. They were just a Christmas release. And I saved the box for when I do the giveaway so you guys can have the box. I know if you, you know, you, of course we collect, right? Done. what am I even saying? But I like seeing the box. So, okay, just wanted to share that with you. Give you a little update there. Okay, guys, and then I wanted to show you that um, I always talk about my collagen. And I found this at Marshall's. 
um, for $9.99. And I want to say at Kroger's, it's around $20. So if you guys are wanting to try collagen, you don't have to be keto. I mean, it just helps your joints and whatnot. I put this into my coffee every morning. Um, you can check this out. Maybe even TJ Maxx has it. But this is a good brand. I've used it before. It doesn't have any sugar in it or carbs or bad stuff. Okay, guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've not had a lot of bee stuff on my channel. First off, I haven't seen any, but I am not a fan of bees. Like, they make me nervous. I've had reaction to bees when I was younger, um, but I found this bee hive, and it says, oh, I just noticed it says be happy on it down here in this little metal plaque. Um, but I thought this was so cute to, like, go with this lemonade in this little house um, and I found this at TJ Maxx, and it was um, 19 dollars Here you can kind of see around it. It's heavy, and it does have a rope, so if you want to use this, I don't know. Can you get stuff in it? I don't think there's a place to put anything in it. it well, I guess it's not a birdhouse, but you could hang it somewhere. But I just thought that was really cute. I have just, I have a basket and I've been putting all my um, spring and summer decor because I have started decorating for Easter like a month ago. But um, anyways, Ray Dunn kind of does that to us. She moves into the seasons a lot quicker. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought this was really, really nice. I like that there's not an actual like fake bee on it. They just, I don't know, they just kind of creep me out. I know they're amazing and they do, do good things for the world, but I'm just not a fan. Okay, guys, I finally found some Easter spatulas. I found these at TJ Maxx. They were $3.99 each. I want these for in my kitchen. They are stinking cute. Here is the brand. The handle seems really sturdy. They're too cute. Okay, I also want to share that I went into our bookstore and I got a couple cookbooks and a, mag a couple magazines. I love Joanna Gaines and I got her Magnolia Journal. She puts these out seasonally and there's so many decor ideas in here and it's just a very, very uplifting magazine. So I just wanted to recommend that to you guys. And then I found this magazine, Keto Recipes. My husband went shopping with me today, and we had an hour drive home, and I was flipping through this, this magazine right here, and I found this recipe, um, pork egg roll bowl, so I just took a screenshot of this, and um, when we got back into our town, I ran in and grabbed the ingredients. I'm making this for dinner, so doesn't that look delicious? And I've been eating the keto way of life. I'm going to stop calling it a diet because I'm not doing it to lose weight. I just love how I feel on it. And I just wanted to share this cookbook, Keto Your Way by Julie Smith. And also um, Keto for Life by, I don't know how to say this person's name, but these cookbooks um have some great, great recipes in here, some sa staple stuff. So, um... If you guys are thinking about doing keto, some of these cookbooks are a really great option. You can get a lot of stuff online, but it's nice to have a cookbook to flip through and to help um, get you inspired. Okay, these next few things are not related to Ray Dunn. So if you want to fast forward through this, you can. But I just wanted to show you what I did. Everybody's been talking to me because I'm a travel nurse about the, the coronavirus. And I ran into Bath and Body Works and I got a bunch of hand sanitizers. I've heard that they're selling out. And I think this is one of the things you can do, you know, like a first line of defense. Obviously, washing your hands is better, but it it can't hurt, you know, to get these things. And the lady in Bath and Body Works said, um, we're almost sold out. She said, we normally have these clear up to the ceiling. And um, now they are um, almost gone. So here's some of the scents. Vanilla Coconut, Atlantic. Oh, that's the men's collection. Then we have peach mango. I think they're all about the same. A Thousand Wishes, um, Black Cherry Merlot, and they were five for eight dollars. I mean, so you guys might want to pick some of these up. I don't think it's a bad idea to do that. Um, just thought I would share that with you guys. No, I love Bath and Body Works. No, I didn't buy anything else. I don't like to burn candles in the summer when it's 100 degrees here and it's 
so, so humid. Last thing I want to do is burn a candle. I just put those hand sanitizers in my little um, basket. How cute would that be at a nurse's station? Okay, guys, I wanted to show these two rugs. I got both of these from Amazon. This um, Buffalo Check with the um, Welcome Peeps. I'll link them down below. They were super inexpensive. I mean, I think both of these together were like a total of $20. And then I showed this a while back, but I want to show it again. I got this, um, like, galvanized metal um, little stand here. And this is what I organize all of. I mean, this isn't in my Ray Dunn room. This is in my craft room. But I have a lot of my craft stuff in here. I'll show you um, what I've done with it. Okay, so here's an example of a drawer. I mean, it's organized to me. So, like, here's Easter grass my little beads, and then I have some of my toppers in here and straws. So if I need something, it's in here. And in this drawer is more Easter grass and jelly beans. In this drawer, this is my little Harry Potter drawer. I haven't shown these yet, but I have these Harry Potter um, toppers, and I have these little gnomes. I'll link this cellar down below. I want to show you guys this. I have my Liquid Luck mug in there. Um, but, so that's what's in this drawer. In this drawer, I have like all my little risers and little stands and just kind of um, some odds and ends. But when I need them, I have them. There's an, an Easter egg in there too. <laughs> Guys, I'm crazy. I have three drawers with Easter grass in it. This drawer just has some more stuff in here. Like I put this in here with not a lot of stuff because I didn't want it to get broken. And I have some carrots, a little bunny um, that I use. Like I turn this upside down to go in a mug. And there's a little nest back there. Down here I tucked my little gnomes from Valentine's Day. And in this last drawer I have this garland. But I cut it apart. Cut some of it apart for decorations. And then I have a table runner and a bunny. Okay, guys, I, I did a lot of shopping today. I went with my husband, and um, he took me into Sephora. So, um, this is definitely not Ray Dunn and Home Decor. So, fast forward through this. But I just thought I would show you really quickly what I got from Sephora. In here, I picked up just some of my staple things that I use every day. I thought someone might be interested in it. Okay, this is what I picked up from Sephora. I love this Daisy Dream perfume i like it more for like spring and summer and then living proof dry shampoo and this away i'm not sure if that's how you say it it's like a texturizing spray and then i got a little bottle of um dry shampoo just i travel a lot to put into my travel bag and then i just picked up some i've never tried this before but i needed to clean my makeup brushes and this i've used for forever I wear contacts and have really sensitive eyes, and this um, stays put and doesn't burn my eyes. So, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Um, this is the eyeliner by Too Faced Sketch Marker, and by Lancome, this um, seals booster. Like, you put this on before your mascara. So, that's what I got. Okay, guys, very last thing I got was this sweet tea pitcher, and um, this was... Um, Marsh or not Marshall's TJ Maxx $14.99. So now I have the lemonade and the sweet tea. And um this one is this year's. I think last year's is even bigger. I was gonna trade for it, but when you find it, you might as well just get it. And I like it. Um I think the words are definitely big enough. It's funny, we don't drink sweet tea. We don't sweeten our tea, but it's still, I still love it. Okay, guys, this video is getting long. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And thanks for watching.